Hello there. Um, I actually grew up in the city of Chicago, so I feel like I need to also say welcome to Chicago. But I am, um, I have for the last 10 years live in the city of Minneapolis, and um, I have a very long history with the Green Party. It all started in 2002. I used to door knock for the gubernatorial candidate. And then in 2004, I was a campaign manager for someone that ran for Congress. But in 2005 is when I really started to make some some waves, I ran for the mayor of Minneapolis. There were 12 candidates. I was the only woman, and I came in third. Nobody could pronounce my name back in those days, let alone even knew who I was. And I had received about 15% of the vote, and I, I shocked a lot of the system there. In 2006, I decided to run for county commissioner against a long-term Democratic opponent. He had been in office for 16 years. I didn't win, but I got 33% of the vote, which is about 17,000 votes. After that, I thought I was just going to take it easy. I, I was only 30 years old. I, I didn't really need to be elected right away. But then my state representative decided to retire. And then I also looked in the area in which I ran. And in that area, I received about 43% of the vote. And again, it was against a Democratic Party incumbent. So I realized I had a real strong shot. But something did also clue me in when the Democrats started calling me and asking me to run as a Democrat. And I kept saying, no, I'm really happy with the Green Party. The Green Party gave me the opportunity and the ability as a young person, as a woman of color, to run for office. I, I wouldn't have been able to gain as much experience, as much knowledge, and, and be able to have the, the capacity to be and organize the capacity to be able to do what I'm doing right now. Now I'm in a situation where I'm favored to win. I have much more name recognition than the other opponents, and I'm much more well organized. And again, we're going back to grassroots democracy. For every vote I earned, whether I ran for mayor or county commissioner, I spend only 50 cents on. I was able to be successful and powerful, yet still take big money out of, out of, of politics. And that's exactly what we need in this country. And that's one of the reasons why I'm proud to say that I am a Green Party endorsed candidate. And I'm proud to say that no matter how much they try to woo me, they're not going to get me away from it. And at the end of the day, I hope that in November, you will hear about this little tiny race in the, in the state of Minnesota where the very first Green in the legislature was able to win and have we've been able to make a breakthrough of the Green Party in the state of Minnesota. Thank you.